Joining us now from Tunis, Tunisia's capital, is U.S. Ambassador Gordon Gray. Sir, good to have you with us this morning. Thank you. It's good to be here. Give us an idea. Six months later, what is different today? Do things feel different or look different on the streets? I wouldn't say that things look different on the streets. What surprised me is how quickly uh, life has returned to normal here, uh, at least in Tunis, the capital where, uh, where I am right now. But there's definitely a different feel to it. Uh, people are more, far more willing to express their political opinions. The civil unrest right after the, the revolution, communities formed neighborhood watches, for example. And we've seen this more recently as Tunisians have welcomed many of the 80,000 Libyans who have fled the violence there into their homes. So, so they're freer in many ways. But at the essence, a lot of this started because of a lack of economic opportunity. Overthrowing a government is one thing. Creating jobs or some sort of opportunity is an entirely different matter. Are you seeing any progress on that front? Uh, not yet. You're exactly right. Many Tunisians have told me and have told others that January 14th, in other words, the day of the revolution, that was the easy part. Now the hard work begins. They have a transitional government in place that recognizes that employment creation is, is one of its top priorities. And in fact, that will be one of the top priorities of the uh, future government as well. To that end, they're uh, hosting a investment forum next week uh, here in Tunisia. Uh, when it comes to that transitional government, sort of a, a two-part question here. Uh, number one, do you feel they're responsive to the needs of the people? Uh, yes, I think they're trying their best to be, uh, be responsive. Uh, realizing that some of the economic challenges they, they face are not just short-term challenges, but long-term challenges as well. And then also taking a look at that transitional government and your dealings with them and even just your experience living there, uh, does it seem stable? Yes, I think so. I think we saw a real uh, turning point six weeks after the revolution when the holdover prime minister was replaced by the, the current prime minister. Uh, he was replaced on Sunday, February 27th, and on Thursday the government announced that there would be elections for a constituent assembly. And I think that was the turning point as far as uh, Tunisians looking forward instead of just looking backwards. There's so much focus on Tunisia, of course, and the, and the role of, of this change in the greater region. Is that something that not only this transitional government, but the, t the Tunisian people look at as well? Uh, can they look outside of Tunisia to see how, in fact, their potentially successful mm -hmm. change could affect the rest of the region? I think very much so. I think there, there was uh, collaboration between uh, tu young Tunisians and young Egyptians, and I think that Tunisians rightfully take uh, a fair amount of pride in, in the fact that the so-called Arab Spring began here in Tunisia. Ambassador Gordon Gray, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. My pleasure.